Here's a 57 Chevy that we recently put a chassis together for. It has an LS3, the six-speed manual transmission, all the popular fuel tank item, uh, uh, brake lines and whatnot. We'll just walk through and point those things out from the bottom side and show you what a conversion looks like um, when they're completed. Um, as you can see from the back here, here's our Rick's fuel tank nicely mounted. Uh, the chassis is nicely painted as it was before the body went on. But also what we do is we clean up the underside of the car. So when it bolts together, uh, this is not gonna come apart again. If this customer ever chooses to repaint the body, um, they can leave it on the chassis and, and not have to pull it apart. Uh, you can see that during the conversion, putting the body on, we had to build a new exhaust system. And if you look underneath, you can see how the exhaust is nicely routed. It goes right through our frame rails. The exhaust systems in these chassis tuck up nice and tight and neat. Or in a factory chassis, they tend to hang down and that's something they could drag on the, on the speed bump or whatever. And as we go forward, you can see our header system now is connected uh, to the exhaust by way of collector. And this car's actually been driven about 200 miles now. So we've kind of gone through and just checked everything over to make sure it all, all seems to drive together. Um, so far, it's been, been wonderful. You can see here from the bottom, the Holly oil conversion pin that was installed, nice and tight not hanging down, it's not gonna hit the pavement. And on the outside of the frame, there is a uh, electronic emergency brake. Really, really common for us to use these. There's a button inside, you hit the button, it's like an actuator, it pulls these cables, which actuates the emergency brake system. Super clean and neat. Uh, nice, nice, nice way to, to uh, retain the emergency brake without having to deal with all the old mechanical stuff. So here's the engine bay. After the conversion, you see that the engine's super, super clean and neat. When we do the conversion, we do our best to, to hide wiring and, and plumbing and, and also you know, make it very serviceable. This particular car, we cut out the existing firewall, put in a new a direct sheet metal firewall, painted that along at, at the same time that we did the undercoating. So again, if this car ever gets painted or, or broken down, super simple just to, to do exterior body work only um, and end up with a neat, a neat car. With the conversion, it seems like it starts more things than just the chassis. So in this case, yeah, we're putting the, the old body onto a new chassis and engine package, but okay, what about the wiring harness, the gauge system, the column, the air conditioning? These are things just kind of add on as, as additional upgrades to the, the original 57 Chevy. In this case, we also did a carpet system in it uh, for them, a trunk, uh, a, a trunk upholstery, um, and really kind of Changed the whole car into a, to a modern driving, uh, comfortable, comfortable fit sedentary. Over the years, we've built lots of cars and we've realized that our experience with building those cars helped other customers select the items we use, like chassis, LS engines, and whatnot. And this 57 Chevy is a great example of a nice street car that they wanted to update it from the factory chassis to something with a modern engine, um, chassis, suspension, brakes, and really kind of moved it forward as, into a, a modern uh, hot rod, if you will. 